This is John Kohler with OKRod.com. Today I have a very special treat for you. We're outside the Golden Gate Produce Terminal. This terminal, or wholesale produce terminal, is in South San Francisco, right next to the San Francisco airport. So if you're flying an SF, this is a good place to go for your produce. You hear some of the airplanes overhead. So we're at 133 Terminal Court here in South City, right off the freeway there. And this place is open from 11 p.m to 10 a.m. So you gotta get here between those hours. We've come today approximately at 8 a.m. to check out this market to find out all the good deals. Now this is where the grocery stores and where the restaurants come to shop to buy the produce in bulk by the box. And when you buy it in bulk by the box, you get it at the wholesale price. So you're literally cutting out the middleman of your local store. But that being said, you can't just buy one head of lettuce. You gotta buy the whole box at a time. But in some cases, some boxes may be cheaper than just buying a few pounds of produce at your local Whole Foods market. So I'm sure inside the produce terminal we're gonna find and we're gonna save at least 50% or more on wholesale produce. So this is the entrance to the produce terminal. You're gonna come down Terminal Street and just right through the gate there, go inside and park and then you're gonna to get to walk around the whole area. There's basically two buildings on the side and you're gonna park in the middle and uh, walk around and you get to go inside each basically a produce house and see what they're selling. You can look around, feel, touch the produce, but don't squeeze too hard. This ain't the Charmin. So now we're inside the South San Francisco Wholesale Produce Terminal. And uh, this is an amazing place. It's really long. They got two buildings on either side with trucks. You're supposed to park in the center wherever there's a spot. And you're going to basically walk up and down and see what they have. Basically, there's just cases and boxes of produce. And so far, uh, you know, most places don't sell organic. I'll stop by a few of the places that do sell organic. So if you are interested in that, some of the non-organic things that I'll be purchasing today are uh, white coconuts from Mexico. That's $27 a case of 20. And also some uh, cactus fruits, a nice case of the green cactus fruits, delicious for juicing for $15. And the last thing we're gonna get that's non-organic today are the California Keat mangoes. Man, they are so delicious. They're actually an amazing deal, five for $11, and they're really huge. All right, so we're here at Shasta Produce. We got some cases of the uh, California Keat mangoes. So these are mangoes that are grown in California, and uh, these guys are huge. So eat your heart out, Paul and these on. These are Keats, not Kent's. They're called Keats. K-E-I-T-T, -T. they come in organic and non-organic. Since they are grown in California, they're not hot water dipped. Some people may say that hot water dipped mangoes aren't raw because they've been heated too hot. But based on my research, they've been heated for a fairly hot temperature for a short amount of time to kill the bugs. They're what's called aphids. So if you look on any side of the box of any box of mangoes that are imported, it'll say aphids, meaning hot water treated. Of course, if you live in Hawaii or Florida and you're getting mangoes from there, they're not treated. But California mangoes, these guys are the best. And when you're picking these guys out, you want to make sure they're a little bit soft to the touch. If they're too soft, then they're actually going to be overripe. And uh, because when they hot water treat them, they usually pick them too early. And you got to get them a little bit softer. But these ones, you actually want a little bit firm. And these will ripen up, even green. So yes, even though they look green, these are going to be ripe and super delicious. So next, i got to pick up some more organic produce I bought here at Shamrock Produce. They're the only organic produce house here in this whole complex. And they actually have some really good deals. So, when you go there, ask them for what the good deals are this week. So once you buy your produce, they're gonna actually bring it around on the fork lift to you. And we're parked here near the dock. And here's one of the amazing deals I got today. These are a Dapple Dandy Organic Kuwats. This case is like 20 something pounds. Now, you know, you might find a few bad ones in there or something like that, but man, these guys are ripe and ready to eat. 12 bucks for 28 pounds of organic Kuwats. These are gonna be amazingly good. Another great deal we got today, these guys right here, organic white peaches. Uh, a case of organic white peaches, uh, 50 count, 10 bucks. Can't beat that with a stick. Got some uh, yellow peaches down below too. So over here we got the canary melons. This was 35 pounds for 20 bucks. Definitely another great deal. Now you wanna be concerned, especially when you're buying a fruit in this large a quantity that it doesn't go bad before you eat it because if it goes bad before you eat it it's not a good deal that's why i like buying things like melons that are hard these things will last a bit longer than some of the stone fruits and other fruits that maybe won't last as long so only buy as much as you're going to eat that week i encourage you to shop you know here on a weekly basis 
and uh, no, not overbuy because that's not a good deal. So this is one of the reasons why to come to the South San Francisco wholesale produce market. You're gonna get some tomatoes like these guys right here, about 10 pounds of organic heirlooms, 12 bucks, so that's $1.20 a pound. You're gonna definitely save a lot of money if you buy in case quantities and hopefully you're eating lots of fresh fruits and vegetables because they will make you healthier if you consume them, whether you eat them whole, juice them, or even blend them up. So we just got out of Petra Produce, and we got these uh, Baja Organics hothouse or greenhouse grown Persian cucumbers, uh, 44 pounds for 30 bucks. So these things are nice and small, sweet, tender, great for juicing, or actually delicious eating out of hand. So we're gonna load these in the car and then go to the next place. So this is one of the stands, and many of the stands here will have their produce displayed out for you to look at. This one's really cool. This is some uh, fresh jicama. Still's got the uh, the greens on it, man. This stuff is so tender and sweet. It's almost like eating an apple when they're this fresh. Wow. And uh, what we're gonna get today are these uh, the white coconuts here. These are uh, my preference for coconuts instead of the Thai coconuts. These ones, based on my research, are not sprayed. And they're not quite as sweet, and the meat's a lot thicker. Better for making coconut butter and um, coconut oil out of it. So I'm checking out the white coconuts here, and there's two different kinds. There's this standard kind. This is the regular fresh coconuts. And if you look inside here, these are a lot. You can kind of see that the coconuts are white, but there's, you can see the brown in there. So these are the standard kind, and this is the kind I'm going to get today. This is called the Select Fresh Coconuts. And if you open up this box, you can take a look inside here. These are a lot larger and uh, you know they don't have the, the brown these are much fresher and if you shake it it doesn't shake so that means these guys are super fresh the meat's super thin and the water's even sweeter less fat content in the meat so whenever possible you want to get the select or the super select style of the white coconuts they're the best and we're here at cb edulis um, that's a good place to get your coconuts and so we're finishing up here at the south san francisco wholesale produce terminal and this has definitely been a good experience. I've learned a lot. This is my first visit here. So we're making this video to share with you guys. So there's one main place that had organic produce. Otherwise, the San Francisco terminal is a lot better for organics because they have Earl's and they had a lot more wider selection. Although some of the scattered places around here did carry some organics, maybe a handful of places. Handful of places had some organic things, but they don't necessarily carry them. They just happen to have them in. Um, we, so we got some good deals on those guys as well. This was also a better place to get the Thai coconuts and the Mexican coconuts. There's a lot more vendors selling those items here. And they seem to be a lot more friendlier here to people with cash than the San Francisco terminal. And there's more places here. This was a 17 acre uh, terminal with about 30 businesses that are pretty much all of them will sell to you directly. So if you live in the San Jose area or the peninsula, this might be a better place to go than the San Francisco uh, wholesale produce market. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode learning about how you can save money on fresh fruits and vegetables in the San Francisco Bay Area. And I want to encourage you to eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. Whether you eat them whole, blend them up, or juice them, the more ways you can get these great foods in your body, the better. And now you can do it affordably here thanks to the South San Francisco Wholesale Produce Terminal. Once again, my name is John Kohler from okraw.com and remember keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables they're the best